All right, wait, wait, no, it's back here. It's down here. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna run in here, stick this nuke in his pee hole. Sprint, chief! Or walk. God damn it. So misguided. Humanity's imprisonment is a kindness. Favor. Your compassion for mankind is misplaced. I'm not doing this for mankind. Really couldn't have waited till we're like over the bridge. <laughs> Had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Little help here. Come on, Chief. Use those gigantor fucking muscles and get your ass on this bridge. Ooh, yeah, I, got oh. I did it. I thought. I hit that button. Oh. Bye bye. Give it to me. Right trigger to detonate ball? Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. How? Oh, I'm the strangest thing you've seen all day? But if we're here... It worked. You did it. Just like you always do. So how do we get out of here? I'm not coming with you this time. What? Most of me is down there. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. 
That's not... we go together. It's already done. I am not leaving you here. John... I've waited so long to do that. It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Cortana, please. Wait. Is that it? What? Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. Feels kind of odd for you to call me, sir. Beautiful, isn't she? I don't get to see her often enough. I grew up in New Harmony, attended Corbulo Military Academy. Never saw Earth in person until I was an adult, but I still think of her as home. You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. I've lost people I care about, but. Never anything like you're going through. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself.
She said that to me once. About being a machine. So let's fucking talk about that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, let's all have this round table discussion through the credits about what the hell just all happened there. Especially for you guys watching this later. Maybe you can get in on this in the comments section later. Okay, so Lee, what do you think? I mean, can you hear us? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. Uh. I don't fucking know. I mean, all of a sudden, Cortana somehow human, or not necessarily human, but something that is like a physical being. And I don't understand it. What about you, Steven? Uh, I'm just trying to think where they're going to go with this next, you know? So she's gone, gone, right? Yeah. I That fucking bums me out like i hate losing characters like that and it shows just like what a great character and great story it is but every time they rip a character away from you like that i'm like god and it just does a great job of like making master chief like a, an actual character instead of just yeah, like big step, in big step for for uh he's never been go ahead human. exactly it's like honestly one of the first halo campaigns where i like other than like when Reach starts to end, I'm like, okay, this is getting really damn good. But even through, like, Halo 3, I was kind of like, oh, I'm just... This is fun for a shooter. You play, you play as Master Chief, you don't identify. Him. Yeah, it's like, oh, you know, Master Chief's a badass, you know, and I, I really enjoy killing lots of things out of him, and it's funny to crack a lot of badass jokes, yeah. you know, and <laughs> and all that, but this one, you actually, you're, like, sucked into it, you know? Yeah. Marcus, what did you, uh... I love it. I mean, if one thing I want to talk about, it's all the scripted sequences in the entire game, like the beginning sequence, the ending, and every sequence in between are beautiful. Yeah. I mean... Oh, easily the best looking Halo ever. Amen to that, for sure. Um, I mean, there's still a lot of... This thing about Halo that I figured out, there's a lot of extended fiction from the first three games that go into books and stuff. Uh-huh. Probably is going to be for this trilogy as well. Like I know they already released a book called Halo Cryptic, I think, and they called it. And uh, it deals with the Forerunners. Okay. And so this will be a trilogy. There will be a Halo 5. This, this, there will be Halo 5 and 6. They planned that far. And then, uh, I mean, I'm going to read the books just to get some story in on this. this is... I'm really curious as to how they'll, if they'll do it annually or. That's a good question. You know? Because, like, how long did they spend. You don't think so, Lee? I don't <laughs> yeah, I I hope they wouldn't. I, I yeah, I, I really hope that they wouldn't. Well, that's kind of good because it gives you like a little more time with the additional content into into this game, like Spartan Ops and multiplayer. And What's great is you know a lot of people consider Halo a multiplayer game, just like you know some people consider Call of Duty just a multiplayer game. But they attach this amazing story into it as well, so it's more than just that. I mean, you're really getting your money's worth in a game like this. Definitely, I mean, I'd hope everyone would play through the campaign of this game and not just. And my only complaint about this game was the damn flight mission. You know, that was that was it. <laughs> that was <finished>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that was... flight mission. Everything else was awesome, but motherfuck that flight that I think flight mission. It's timed and there was four of us. Yeah. They set off certain things, and so that's by yourself might be better. Okay. Yeah, that might be it too. Because I, I mean, I wrecked. Upwards of like ninety times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just like, this is the most terrible sequence I've ever played in a driving thing in a video game. Yeah. But other yeah, than I mean, that, I only wrecked a few, but that's because I was up front. Okay, you were yeah, you were the you were the front guy. Man, Honestly, I think the front guy sets off all the timed yeah things, and so when the doors close and moves shift. Like, yeah, I was the bad guy, so I was just getting boned in the face. Yeah, I got trapped behind doors. That yeah, no several doors. doors. I was like, no, wait. And then, like, I would see you guys turn, and then I would go to turn, and there would just be a wall. And I was like, what the fuck is happening here? 
So that that was that was a frustrating moment. I man, I don't know. I don't know what's a post credit sequence. Oh, hopefully. That's what I'm waiting for. Like, what is there in every game? Oh, there's some sort of short minor thing. Yeah. Typically, if you beat it on legendary, there is. Um, I don't hail one if we don't mention there's an extended one, but there's one anyway. And yeah. I played three the other day, there was one afterwards. Yeah, there was one after three. What was the one after three? I can't remember. Oh, uh, him floating in space and getting into it. And getting into it, that's right. Because that was, remember, I was pissed off at the ending of three. I was like, what the fuck? They're not even going to show him? Like, what is, you know, what is this? And then we're, we're goofing out through the credits. And Reach, I didn't know about the little end mission after the credits. And I was oh, live streaming yeah. it. And I was like, all right, well, that's the game, guys. That was badass. You know, thanks for watching, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm going to let the credits run for you guys, you know, and, and go off and do my thing. And I was talking to Melinda, and I came back. And the credits ended, and that little thing popped up. I was like, oh, shit. You know, and luckily I let the stream on. But I was like, oh, there's something else. There's something else. And that post mission, that was intense, because it's just like survive or oh, whatever. Definitely. And it shows this Reach getting, you know, fucked by the Covenant. Is that what it is? Yeah, That's it's crazy. you're the last guy standing on Reach. It was pretty That's intense. Cool. You basically just get overrun, you know? Yeah. And so I'm hoping they do give like a little teaser. Because it's interesting, you know, that there isn't there could be another Cortana model. That he'll have yeah. to bond with, or well, I think that that'll be a really uh, fun part about the next the next game is the development that you have with the new Cortana. Yeah, and so I'm if, hope, I'm hoping that's the route Cortana they go if they do a new. How he has to, or maybe how he has to handle being uh, alone. Yeah, I mean that's one way to go. I'd rather. AI. I think they give him another AI. Yeah, I'd yeah, rather him have a new AI. Not a fly ship and stuff. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's he, true. Must say every game he relies on her. He's like, "Hey, a computer, I'm sticking you in real quick." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, "I know how to kill people. I'm not really sure on how to." Which one's the how to drive here? Even in Forward Unto Dawn, you know, he's asking like, "Hey, uh, which one of you guys knows how to drive this old warthog?" <laughs> Chief isn't so good behind the wheel. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna see if there's a post-credit scene. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will talk to you next time. I might have said that a little early. I don't know. Okay. Awkward. Lord, Look at that special thanks. Special Quit thanks. thanking people. Thank Show the scene. I'd like to thank Balls what? Energy. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm glad the cat was alive. <laughs> I'd like to thank Steven for spawning pizza. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big thanks to Steven for buying us pizza, Papa John's, meat lovers. And that spinach and. Chicken Alfredo? Chicken Alfredo. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. Everyone get the spinach and chicken Alfredo for Papa John's. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>
has already begun. And we are hopeless to stop it. <laughs>